What's up, Odoers? My name is Jose Ignacio. Now, as you know, selling is a very unique art form. There are many techniques when it comes to selling, but the most common and effective ways to make products accessible to buyers are online stores, which are otherwise known as e-commerce platforms, or through a physical storefront, or even better, directly through a salesman, door-to-door -door knife salesman, I'm coming after you. At my furniture company, Stealthy Wood, we use all three of these methods. Yep, even door to door. But in this video, we're going to focus on the last one, salespeople. Now, to learn how to use Odoo for those other two methods, check out our videos and documentation for the e-commerce and the point of sale apps, which I'll link for you. Now, in this video, however, we'll see how the Odoo sales app makes it super easy and efficient for salespeople to create and send quotations to customers. The Odoo sales app also automates tedious time-consuming tasks to save salespeople time, and more importantly, energy, so they can focus on the stuff that really matters, like selling products. So, I'm really excited. So let's jump right into our database and see how we could do this. All right, Odoers, let's kick things off on our sales dashboard. So we're gonna open up the sales app. And inside of here, we can see a convenient list of all of our quotations and sales orders. To create a new quotation, we actually just have to simply click New up here. All right, perfect. So from here, we'll first select a customer. We can either use, of course, this drop down menu over here, but that's not cool and flashy. So we could create a new customer by just starting to type a mysterious and powerful name, such as the word Odoo. And then we can hit create, which will allow us to immediately use it, or create an edit, which allows us to add the customer's contact information here, and Odoo will instantly create a new contact in our database. So let's give it an email to add a little bit more information. Odoo at Odoo.com. Powerful, mysterious, and very sleek. All right, up next, we'll add a product. Let's say this customer wants to buy one of our customizable desks. So we'll select Add a Product, Customizable Desk. And would you look at that? I have options because Odoo gives me options. Now, since this product has multiple variations, the product configurator pops up. This allows us to choose exactly which variation we want for this quotation. So let's say that the customer wants a black desk and they want to keep the material steel because it is strong. We can also see that some optional products have been added below. And these are pretty nifty because they're very convenient since we often sell these products together. This saves our salespeople a lot of time since they don't have to go looking for the related products to offer. These optional products themselves can be configured on the product form. So be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about that. But let's go ahead and add our one year, and I consider this complete, so confirm that, oh doers. All right, this looks good. So after adding the products, I can actually easily change the quantity or the price manually on the quotation as well. Let's assume they want two. And this unit price, let's put some math in there. Boom. Just like that. The unit price was an equation now. Now, what if I want to put an optional product on the quotation itself so the customer can add it to their cart later if they're interested? Easy. Now, to do that, I simply go over here to optional products. Once again, I just add a product and let's assume they've bought a table. Our 400 IQ is telling us you're going to need a chair. But which chair? You want the office chair in black. Mm. Just like that. That's pretty easy. So now what else can we do with this quotation? Well, let's go back to the order lines. Let's assume that I want to organize the products into sections and make it look a little bit cleaner, readable, sleeker, more professional. We're going to add a section here. We're going to title this section Furniture. And then we're going to capitalize it because we're not animals. Boom. And we use this up here and we drag it up there. Let's add another section. This time we're going to call it Warranty? Yeah. Warranty for the warranty area. All right, perfect. That's not at all a hat on a hat. Okay, now that we're done creating this quotation, we can deliver it to the customer in a few different ways. If we want to give it to the customer in person, we can actually easily print it out and hand it to them by going up here and selecting this print button. And it'll tell us, what do you want to print? In our case, quotation slash order. Once that you do that, give Odoo a couple seconds. Boom, just like that. It just did that. And this is what that'll look like. And tell me that's not a beautiful PDF. You didn't have to do anything for that. But let's get back over here. All right, so we could also send it to the customer by email when we click. You guessed it, Odoo, send by email. And that'll prompt us with a few options. Now, once that, that loads, it shows us the text of the email along with the subject and a few other things. Here's the templated text of the email that we can actually edit if necessary. 
We can actually just type something in down here, like, we didn't say thank you. Let's do it in all caps. We're really happy right now. You also see that the PDF is automatically attached. Perfect. And if we like the changes that we made, we can actually save it as our own template for future use by clicking as save as a new template down here below and tell me that's not useful. But for right now, I don't want to save it. So let's just send this email as is. Just select that little button. And would you look at that over here? It gives us a little copy. When we send the email, a copy of it is automatically recorded in the chatter section of the quotation here, just so that all of this information about this order is in one convenient place. Now, would you like to see what this online quotation looks like for a customer? No problem, o doers. We actually have a customer preview button up here that when we select it, you guessed it, o doers. Right now, we are a customer once again. Wow. Look at all of that. And there's our sections. There's everything on this email. Boom. Look at that. Furniture and the warranty warranty section. And you'll also notice if you scroll back up, Actually, if you scroll back down, this person has the option to add that office chair that we were talking about. But how would they do that? Well, they actually just hit this little cart thing. And boom, it's been updated automatically, just like that. Now, customers can also sign and pay for their quotation online, and that confirms their order right there. And that's insanely convenient. But in our case, everything looked pretty good, so we're going to go back to edit mode. Okay. So, a salesperson, by the way, can also confirm the quotation manually from the back end by clicking confirm. This turns the quotation into a sales order. And if we have deliveries already configured inside of our database, then a delivery order is automatically created when the quotation is confirmed. So, let's actually just do that real quick. We're going to confirm this. And notice that. There it is. The delivery smart button right there. Be sure to check out our videos on delivery and inventory to learn more about that because I don't want to bore you too much. Anyway, from here, I now have the option to create an invoice. I also have the option to send it by email again, or I can just cancel the whole thing. Let's imagine that unfortunately this deal falls through. They don't want it and we need to cancel it. All I actually have to do is click on cancel. Then I have the option to pretty much send a nice email actually just to let them know I'm sorry. We have the option to send it letting them know why it was canceled. I can click send and cancel to send the email, or I can also just click cancel to just cancel the sales order without sending them an email. But we're not root, so we're gonna send and cancel. Give that a second, and as you can see, the status of the order has actually shifted up here in the top right from sales order to canceled. This is just another way that Odoo makes our sales process super easy. Well, uh, that's all for now, Odooers. But be sure to check out our other sales tutorials to learn even more about all the amazing features of the Odoo sales app. Until then, always remember, go grab a snack.